Welcome to this tutorial where I will install macOS 9 on an older PowerPC Mac. First, navigate to macinstallers.tech and download macOS 9. It is important that you complete this step on a computer which supports the macOS extended file format. It was phased out in Catalina, and support for only macOS extended journal and APFS remain in that operating system. I used a PowerBook G4 running Tiger for this step. Unarchive the zip file, and you'll have an ISO file containing macOS 9. Press Ctrl, then click on the ISO file. Select Disk Utility, and then select Burn. Now insert a blank CD into the CD drive. Press the Burn button, and then wait for a few minutes as the ISO writes to the CD. It's always a great idea to label your optical media in case you need to find it again. Now all we need to do is power on the iMac. Press the button to open the CD tray, insert the CD, close the tray, and press and hold the C key as it boots. In a moment, the macOS installer will appear on the screen. Simply start this and continue through the installation assistant. It will now ask you what destination you want to install macOS 9 onto. If you wish to erase the hard disk drive, navigate to the Utilities folder. Open up Drive Setup and initialize the correct hard drive. Now the drive is initialized, simply select the correct destination disk. Accept the important information and the software license agreement. If, like me, you accidentally left Drive Setup open, simply select Drive Setup. Go to File and then Quit. Installation will take a few minutes. When the installation process is finished, click continue to install other software. Now, click quit. Finally, restart your Mac as macOS 9 has been installed successfully. When turning on for the first time, remember to eject the CD from the CD tray. Your Mac will now boot into the freshly installed copy of macOS 9. Continue by following the instructions in the macOS Setup Assistant. Select your region, type your name, select your time, your city, and then type your password. And finally, select your preferences on internet file sharing and click go ahead. The next part of the setup is dedicated to configuring the 56K modem, which is not something likely to be necessary in 2020. And we're done, your Mac is now ready to use. Thank you for watching this Mac installers tutorial on installing macOS 9.